Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive yes, one. And we're playing Madden 21, going against the ex-Browns. Browns versus ex-Browns, dude. The Baltimore Traders. You ever go against your exes? Art Modell goes straight to hell. You remember that? <laughs> dude, Cleveland's ridiculous. What do you mean? Like, they were like, he couldn't come back to the city because people would have murdered him. Uh, yeah, well, he took the football team, and we're very passionate about yeah. our foot football team. Passionate enough to murder. Hey, it is what it is. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, man. Cleveland More ain't... snow. Of course, it's Cleveland. It's Cleveland's, Baltimore, but still, yeah. I mean, that's still basically Cleveland of the West. Right. East. That's meant what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> this town, it's full of, like, uh, uh, em impoverished people and impoverished people you know they know how to handle business only one way and then that's they through. got what they got dude you take what they got they're gonna come get you i just mean like it, look poor people are gonna hurt you because we got less all right so we protect what we got because we got less of it yeah well, if, if you were rich and somebody stole a hundred dollars from you guess what you go to bed and wake up in the next morning and feel fine but if you if you got five hundred dollars in the bank and somebody takes a hundred from you you will cut a month. Oh, yeah. Well, we talked about that one time about prison. They'll kill a man over a cigarette, and you're like... Hey, because that's all they got. Because that's all you got. Yeah. If you, yeah. you steal a seven-cent pack of ramen noodles from somebody, yeah. you're going to slit your throat. It, you're me like, it means more, man. It means more. Yeah. It, and that's exactly true, yeah, because it's like... Yeah, if a rich dude who has seven cars, has somebody steals one of the cars, they're just like, eh, whatever, I got insurance. But if you're broke and ain't got insurance and have one junk-ass car and somebody steals it. That's the only way you're going to get your child to school. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem, man. That's a problem. But, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't condone killing anybody over the loss of a football team, but I, I'm not going to tell them they're what wrong for you reacting condone that killing way. someone over since you said <laughs> Uh, you know, like crimes, high crimes. Yeah, yeah. I probably there's there's very few people that you could do an infraction against that I would I would probably kill somebody over. But you know, my mom is on that list. Yeah, you you definitely said that before. Somebody hurts my mom, I don't care what I got to do. I think that's really the only person that I would commit murder for. <laughs> like I would just be like, all right, guess I'm going to prison for the rest of my life. Okay. Like, no, but, like, what kind of... It would have to be an egregious not like they were just like, you're yeah, stupid, and you're yeah. like, I'm going to come get you. Yeah, 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 obviously. Do something that deserves me to come after you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm not just going to just kill people for calling my mom up the B word or something. <laughs> you're like, the worst day of your life, sir. Yeah. I might go to court over that, but I'm not right, going right, to go to jail. I out of somebody, but I ain't going to take it to the next level. Yeah, yeah I feel you. I'm not that ride or die. Oh, man. I do remember. Okay, I can tell you one time I committed a crime. <laughs> I, I mean, don't admit it. I'm, no, it's, I'm, not, it's not, I'm not culpable. I was like 12 years old when this happened, all right? Oh, okay. It's a 12-year-old crime. Or when I was, tw I was 12 when it so, happened. So, yeah, the statute of limitations has definitely ran out. I remember me and one of my good friends, we went to the Cinemark Movies 10. Jonas, it was fifty to go see the movies, right? And yeah. we were 12 years old, and Demolition oh Man... Oh, my God, don't you tell me that you did what I think you're going to do. And Demolition Man was out. Oh, I love that movie. Now, Jonas, a little, little backstory about me. Um, I don't condone this either, kid, so don't, don't try this at home. But by the time I was 13 years old, I was able to purchase alcohol and cigarettes. Because um, you were, like, tall was, and had a deep voice and stuff? I was six-something six foot tall, and I had a nice deep voice, and I looked the part. Kind of, kind of great. Then now I'm like, wait a minute. So I've just been looking old my entire life. But apparently, Aww. either way. Um, so I go up to the ticket taker, um, and before my friend, I hand he slipped and fell. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> I hand her the money and she gives me my ticket and she says, "All right, sir, enjoy your movie." Ooh. And I was like, "Hell yeah, I'm gonna go see Demolition Man with freaking." It was rated R too. Who was in that? Wesley Snipes and Sylvester Snipes. Stallone. Oh, yeah. And uh, Sandra Bullock. Greatest one I've ever created. I suggest you check it out, Wesley man. Wesley Snipes has bleach blonde hair. And it. Taco Bell is the last restaurant on earth. Oh, so I'd be, be all right with that. I grab my ticket and I'm feeling great. <laughs> and, and mind you, I've been to this movies, this movie theater a hundred thousand times. So I'm, I'm ready to go. My friend steps up. 
And he says, hands her the money. She's like, how old are you? He's like, 18. She's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I start laughing, dude, because I'm seeing him having a problem. And he's like, no, I'm 18. Give me the ticket. He's, she's like, no, you're not 18. I can't, I can't give you this ticket. He starts getting pissed off. He's like, you better give me this frick. <laughs> he starts swearing at her and stuff. And I'm like, oh, man. You're like, that's and really going to work. So then I step up, and I'm like, no, he's 18, man. He's with me. And then <laughs> she's like, no, he's not 18, and he can't see this movie. And if you keep talking, you're not going to see it either. I was like, all right, fine. So See you then, later, buddy. So then I like walk up and I'm like, all right, fam, I'm going to sneak you in, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I'm going to sneak you in. So I go up to the ticket taker and like I knew where like the back door was. And uh, my friend was waiting by the back door and I opened the door to let him in. And the freaking ushers were on top of both of us, man. So me and him both were like, all right, fine. It's about to be it's about to be a win 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 lose situation. Oh, we're wow. about to fight all the ushers. Then a security card comes out with a gun. And I'm like, all right, fine. We're about to we dying today. We dying. <laughs> dying over demolition. We about to die. We didn't die. Obviously. <laughs> we, we just we just cursed him out a lot and then like postured and then we left. <clears throat> well, I thought you were gonna say that you saw two movies in the same day buying one ticket. No, jeez, Jonah, I've done that a million times, but I would, <laughs> I would never admit to that. Um, um, yeah, but that was that was that was the crime I committed where I un, you know, uh, what is that? Unruly. Yeah, I had one time where I was the, like, at, in Ashtabula, they didn't care if you were under eighteen. I mean, if you were like obviously thirteen or something, they would say something. Only oh, one, Sticky Floor didn't give a crap. Right, and this the only time I was ever denied a movie was at Sticky Floor. Really? Our meme, I was 16. Explain so I, why it's called Sticky Floor to the viewers. Because the floor was always sticky. That's very... All right, fine. Good I mean, enough. it was always... Your feet would like... It, it was, was a dirty-ass movie theater, and the floor was always just saturated with, like, old pop and chewing gum and candy because like, people didn't care and they didn't clean. You had to, like, sometimes, like, pull your foot up off yeah, the floor. Yeah, like, I remember. It wasn't, like, just like, oh, ha-ha, a little bit of stick. No, it no, was... No, it was literally sticky floors. Yeah, it was Yeah, gross. it was bad. And they never cleaned, and it was just part of the nostalgia, Ambiance. I guess. Yeah, but it was cheap, cheaper tickets there, cheaper tickets, and they didn't care what yeah. age you were. So his parents dropped us off. So we must have been fifteen because we weren't driving yet. And it was, well, and I know why. It was we went to go see Howard Stern Private Parts on opening night. Oof! And she was like, "You guys aren't eighteen, aren't, aren't seventeen. And we're like. We come here all the time. We go to movies all the time. And she was just like, no. So we had to walk. His parents had just dropped us off. No cell phone. We had to walk all the way up to 20 and then down to the bowling alley to call his mom to come and pick us back up like 20 minutes later. And they have phones in the movie theater? They made us leave. They made they, they made you leave for trying to buy a ticket? Because th- once you if, if we would have went into the theater, they would have been like, you're just going to sneak into a movie. I would have been like, well, can I use the phone to call? Can I call my mom? <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, you already just established that I'm not old enough. So, yes, let me call my mother so I can get picked up. I miss Sticky Floor. It's gone. Good. It's gone, gone. They that, tore it down. That thing needed to be tore down. It was oh, an eyesore. Yeah. It was condemned when we were young. Yeah, it was an eyesore. I remember, like, when I was, like, real little, it only had two theaters, and then they expanded it, and the little theaters they made were so jank. Like, they had that one year that had about 30 seats in it, and they could go down and around oh. the back. And stuff. I actually like those types of theaters. Those are, I know, dude. <laughs> you can do whatever in there, dude. We used to go and there'd be nobody in there, and we would just sit in there and we would like. I think like we used to smoke cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, I've there. done that. There was like me and one other person in there. Me, we were there together. We're just like smoking <laughs> cigarettes and watching movies. I've definitely, and- definitely done that. I've done some illicit things in the uh, with young ladies in the, in, in the seats for sure. Definitely done that. Oh my gosh, cut a hole through the bottom of the popcorn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That never happened. Uh, <laughs> they don't even put popcorn in those big old buckets anymore. It's all bags, isn't it? No, nah, they oh, I don't know. This just kind of depends on where you go. That's true. I guess the big but the big size of popcorn is like $90. It's yeah. like, oh, do you want the large popcorn? 740 bucks, sir. Now, on the other side of the coin, man, I love the uh, the theaters that have like the reclining seats and like oh, the tray yeah. tables and they come with menus and you can order like a dinner. Those are some of the greatest I movie theaters I've like ever been to. I do not like assigned seating, though. 
yeah, I, I can see that, but I, you know, it's not a big deal. You know for why me. I don't like it? Because I like to sit away from other people, and yeah. when you assign seats, you have no choice. I've been in a theater yeah. to see an old movie on like a Tuesday night, because that's what I like to do, because I know there's never anybody in there. And there was me and two other people in the GD theater, and guess what? They picked the two GD seats right next to me, and I'm like, there is an entire theater, and you on the map, you pick the two seats right next to me. And that was without assigned seating or with That was with assigned seat. Oh, well, then I just ask if I could be moved at that point. I don't know. She's going to come around and ask you if you want drinks or something yeah. at some point. I'll be like, look, can I just move over? I mean, like, no offense to you, dude, but I just like, I like my space. Yeah, right. Uh, but in the uh, yeah, the full service theaters are sweet. Where you can order like there is certain foods that are not good to eat in a in a movie theater. <laughs> like, like like what, John? The first time I ever went, I got like a burger and fries, and it was like it was kind of a pain in the butt because you like it had to like get. It was one of those things where it doesn't come together. Like the burger's on a bun, and the lettuce, tomato, and onion. And like you're like trying to put the thing together oh, in the theater. Construct the burger. Yeah, and I'm like. We're in a dark ass theater. <laughs> you want me to put my bird like pizza, popcorn, soft pretzels, any of that stuff? Easy pizza. <laughs> Some of those places have like spaghetti and stuff, and I'm like, why are you gonna eat a pasta dish? Yo, at the movie? I'm cool with that, dude. Spaghetti, a plate of spaghetti in a movie? <laughs> I don't Hell know. yeah. I, 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 I'm, you know what hot take, dude? I do not. You know, I paid for the burger. I don't want to have to construct the burger, dude. I you construct the freaking burger. Yeah. I don't want to construct the burger. I want the illusion of you bring a full burger out to me. Yeah, dude. Like, why do they even do that? Like, so in case you don't want, in case you don't want lettuce and tomato, you can decide. And they're not gonna make it to order, so you can just throw them with them in the trash. The problem is, it's less work for them for you to tell them not to put tomato on the plate. And less waste at that. But yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I will always be like, I don't need anybody. Get the f out of here. Right <laughs> and I'm always the guy that like, you gonna eat your tomato? Yeah, right. I'll, I'll be like, can you bring me a bowl of pickles? He's like, sure. I'll bring you a dish of pickles. And I just eat them. Do you do, do you eat a dish of pickles like that? Is I mean, that sometimes I will. Not at a restaurant. But I will absolutely eat. I'll eat all the pickles. The pickles are bomb. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of tomatoes. They're cool. I don't like tomatoes at all. Ew. No, dude. Like the nice fat, not a wedge of tomato. Actually, I don't like wedges as much as I like tomato discs. Oh, they're just so gross, dude. They're gelatinous, and there's like this like a membrane, and it's just like, oh, it has that weird taste of like a little bit. fresh. I used to make like tomato sandwiches that with, is gross. with mayonnaise, <laughs> a little salt, a little mayo. Dude, my grandpa used to just take slices of tomato and salt them and just yeah. Eat tomato, <laughs> That's good ish, like, man. Oh, it's good ish. You guys can eat tomatoes all day. I will. Yeah, dude. One time when I was over at my friend's house. Uh, his mom, mom used to like always like bring us snacks and stuff like when I would hang out and we'd play mm -hmm, video games mm -hmm, in elementary mm -hmm, school. Mm -hmm. And one day she she his mom was weird. Cherry tomatoes. No, I'm she guessing. was like, I bet you can't put all these pickles in your mouth. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> we need to get into this real quick. <laughs> what kind of pickles? I said I could. She dared me that I couldn't. So I just there was a bunch of like p dill pickle slices. I just was like loading. Them. Did she make you say chubby bunny? <laughs> she maybe she did make me say something. Maybe she. Was, maybe she. Oh my gosh, she was fat shaming me. You know what? It's kind of funny because like, never mind. If you were a little girl and that was a dad, it'd just be like, what the hell is going on here? But because you're a boy and it was a mom, it's like, oh, it's a cute game. That was the same mom I told you about that threw my friend's Bush CD out the window because he was acting a fool in the car. She just ejected the disc and threw. It. <laughs> oh, no, not razor blade suitcase. No, it was it was uh it was ever it was it was uh under first one. Yeah, the sixteen Self stone. Oh, yeah, dude, it was the good one. I like it's razor cool. blade suitcase too. You like tomatoes also, so I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I guess I have. There's no accounting for taste. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, dude, it was, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, theaters. <laughs> I miss them. I don't. I used to go see everything in the theater. I know, man. I used, in fact, I used to be like a connoisseur. Like every time a new movie would come out, I would go and see it, and then I would have to tell my friends if it was worth seeing or not. Yeah, because they were like, "I'm not going to go see that crap." I'd be like, "I'm going to go see it, and I'll let you know if it's good." <laughs> yeah, I was going to say before, uh, before pandemic, dude. I was like, "You were like, you were the, the for all the effing time." I saw the last blockbuster movie before pandemic hit, which was Sonic the Hedgehog. 
that? Yeah. God, that's, that's great theater. Like, like, no. It was good, Jodis. It was good. And you know it was good because it got good reviews. Oh, that's always a third. <laughs> I, I will have to say is that I've never went to a movie that got good reviews and walked out like that was a bad movie. Yeah, most of the time, if they get good critic reviews, they're somewhat good. Yeah. Like, uh, but there are movies that, like, the critics didn't rate very well, and then, like, oh, yeah, the, like, the user score was like, we love that movie, because it's just a fun movie or something. Yeah, I, uh, no, there's movies like that where p other people are like, this is an awful movie, and I think it's great. Yeah, yeah. And those are usually, like, they're very niche, because they're either, like, super cheesy and have stupid jokes, and you're into that, and they're not, or they have a lot of action, it's real cheesy action, and they don't like that, or... I yeah. like bad horror movies. You know, yeah, me too, dude. Love them. I, I like pretty much any horror movie. I'm not a big fan of like the supernatural ones, like The Exorcist or like the Paranormal Activity. Like those, I like the killer slasher. <laughs> They're like their movies of all time. It still gives me freaking goosebumps. Every oh, oh, jeez. And see, I don't really like slasher movies. I don't want to see torture porn or gore fest. Yeah, like Saw, dude. Saw yeah. ones. See, I hate Saw movies. Those aren't horror movies to me. Those are just like torture porn. Horror more movies? This is tor torture porn, dude. Like, I like I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I like uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street. I like the, or like the Freddy Krueger movies. I like the yeah. Jason movies and stuff like that, but... Like, when they got, like, Saw kind of started, because it was Saw's, and, and then the other Saw's, and then the Hostel movie. Oh, yeah, some of that stuff got crazy. Uh, yeah. And like, like, Hostel was even too much for me. Okay. Yeah. Hostel, I, I watched it once, and I was like... Oh. oh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's too much. Yeah, that was a little too much for me, so... But, yeah, I like Supernatural, Scary to Babadook. Excellent movie. Nice. Yeah, I've, se I've seen a lot of them. I just don't prefer those, like... You know, but whatever. That's, that's but, my ish. Yeah, I actually prefer like psychological thrillers and stuff that oh, are like, yeah, like kind of scary. Too. Those are like my favorite. Probably. I like those too. But uh, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you did that, hit that notification bell. Tell you when we do things for Jonas. Hey, we is out. <laughs>